Hello everyone, Chief Conduct here, and in the latest community update, we are given a preview of the new maps, some of the new wrecks, and updates to come along with the January's content update titled Infinity's Armory. To start things off, 343 has given us a preview of some of the new wrecks. The featured armor sets are Atlas, Achilles, and Mark V Alpha. There's going to be a legendary mythic battle rifle from the looks of it, and possibly two carbines, which will be interesting because there's no other carbine variants in the game. There's 15 new weapon skins in total, with one matching ultra rare set. All the other ones seem to be rather different or independent. There's the AR, so uh, I guess it's kind of a shout out to Canadians or something, legendary assault rifle skin that features Mr. Chief and a rainbow paint job. And we have the lock and loaded legendary pistol skin that features spicy lock and the same rainbow paint job. We also have the Boomco Magnum Blaster weapon skin modeled off the same Boomco foam dart toy gun, which is kind of awesome that that's in the game now. And we have the scratched AR skin. There's one new visor, there's going to be two new stances, two new assassinations, six new armor variants including Enforcer Strongarm and Infiltrator Sabertour, and 12 new emblems including the Brute Emblem and the Number 12 Emblem, probably because of the Seahawks. Now the Achilles armor set will require us to do something different in order to get it. The Achilles armor set is tied to Spartan Company Mastery Accommodations. In order to get the body armor piece, the company you're enlisted in must reach level 3 in all kill accommodations. Reaching level 5 for kill accommodations awards players the Achilles helmet. You must be currently enlisted in the Spartan company when the requirements are met to earn the armor and the helmet. So you must join a company that has not yet earned the armor or helmet in order to get it. And if you join late, you're not going to get it for free so you can't leech off of them. Right now, the Ready Up Live Spartan Company is well on its way. Most of the kill accommodations are at level 2, and a few are at level 3 or close to reaching level 3. I hope 3 for 3 does more things like this. I like the idea of some long-term goals to strive for too, and it's also great that you can do this with friends. Along with these new wrecks come two new maps, Urban for Wars of Assault and Riptide for Arena. Riptide is indeed a remix of Fathom, however, they did want to note that they have been reviewing the community's feedback on remix maps, and there's a strong focus to make these maps feel like entirely new spaces, which is good to hear. Urban is the Warzone Assault variation of Battle of Noctis. Most notably, they changed the center area of the map, replacing the monument with a single armory structure, which opens up the map and provides more room for vehicles and more lines of sight. And speaking of Warzone, 343 has announced that they'll be changing the weapon despawn timer from 5 seconds to 20 seconds when Infinity's Armory releases this month. They've tested the system and they're still able to maintain 60 frames per second at all times, which is good to hear. I can't wait to see how Warzone feels after this change. Lots of players will be able to experiment with more weapons that they may not necessarily have yet, and I personally feel that this will add a little bit more chaos and excitement to Warzone. Also, 343 and more specifically the Forge team, including Tom French, has acknowledged that some of us have mistakenly saw an early glitch for an upcoming feature, and they've confirmed that object groups are indeed coming to Halo 5's Forge in a future update. They're calling them Forge Prefabs. It will allow for players to save a structure they've created and then place it on different maps or share it with others. I think this is going to be definitely really cool. I am personally not a big forager. I can't create massive maps that work well, but I can see building structures and different designs being very useful for other people like myself. So I can maybe focus on a cool building and then share that specific building with others and then they can put it on their epic maps. And finally, to round up this week's update, they're reminding us that the UI and Forge teams are hard at work on a file browser and a lot more, but of course, they won't tell us what's more to come. Also, lots of Forge creations have reportedly passed tests and are being prepared to be added to different multiplayer playlists. This week's featured playlist is the Weekend Rocket Party, and as a reminder, they've doubled the XP that featured playlists now give out, so go check it out. It's a candidate for action sack and features unlimited ammo, no reloading required, increased jump height, increased damage resistance, and faster thruster charge. And even though there's increased damage resistance, direct hits are instant kills. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. As always, link to the post is in the description down below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and subscribe for more. My name is Chief Gunna, and I'll see you guys next time.